Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back from my holiday. I'm going to start a new colouring catch up. We're going to do a picture from Selena Fenex Night Magic colouring book. And we're going to do this image of the witch on the broomstick. Come fly with me. And one of the reasons I am doing, say, this book is because I am trying to colour a picture in all of my books. I've got over 140 books, I think near on 150 now. And um, I've got so many I haven't coloured in, and it drives Paul around the bend. So, I'm just going to find a pencil sharp now, and we're going to get started on this one. So, the question is, how are you all? How have you been? My peach one is getting rather low. So I am now back from my holiday. If you watch all the videos, we just check in every now and again, you will have seen that um, the first few of the holiday vlogs are, are up. It was absolutely lovely out there. It was around 26 degrees all week. Only the day before we came back was it a little bit chillier and there was a spot of rain but even then it was still nice enough for me to go in the pool so we had a lovely week Jennifer was absolutely brilliant on the plane um, she wriggled a lot sitting on me because she's under two she still gets a free space so she sits on my lap so it wasn't very pleasant for myself but she didn't cry and disturb the other passengers uh, she wasn't very loud she did have a little cry when she was got, got tired and I just sang her to sleep I just sang to her and she went to sleep on me and she was fine then till we landed pretty much the same on the way back and on the coach transfer to the hotel which is um, quite a long one really it was over an hour about an hour and a half we got there under half seven quarter to eight she was very very good she sat in the seat next to me with her seat belt on and if she started getting a bit uh, bored or upset I would just point out the window and go oh look at that Jennifer and then she'd get all oh ah, and excited about what she was seeing so she was really good. Um, she loved being in the pool. She wasn't so keen on the sand and the water, so she uh, we didn't really go in the in the water on the beach because um, she just we put her on the sand. She didn't like it. <laughs> it's not like sand that she's used to in the UK. It's very gravelly and very gritty because it's volcanic. I love it, but but that's okay. And she was she was good as gold. She still obviously is so young she doesn't understand when we we stop for something and we're waiting say for a drink or a meal. She doesn't understand that so she gets a bit, she gets bored, fractious and she goes a bit, but this isn't on, I'm not having this, why are we hanging around? Which is fair enough because she, she does, you know, she's only little. But generally she had a good time. She loved Laura Park, which is um, it's like a wildlife sanctuary. I know a lot of people don't agree with keeping animals in captivity and I have my own reservations about them. Laura Park was originally set up, I think in the 70s, to try and protect some rare parrots. And that's why it's called Laura Park, because Laura is Spanish for parrot. So it's actually Parrot Park. Um, they do have gorillas. They have lions. They have white tigers. They have panda, uh, red pandas. And they do have dolphins, sea lions, alligators. And yes, they do have uh, orcas. And there is a, an orca show, and I will... There will be some this one footage of the orca show in one of them, but I will put a disclaimer in the description, so trigger warning. 
Now Jennifer wasn't particularly interested in the orcas. We did, we took her in to see it. She was more interested in the, the kid behind her. So because of that we didn't bother taking her to any of the shows. I did want to take her to see the dolphins but she wasn't actually having any of it. She found it a little bit Like I said, she was more interested in everybody else. So we were going to take her to the Sea Lion show, but it was very crowded. And she doesn't like crowds. She got very, very, very upset. She's just not good with crowds. Not yet. She's getting better. But she... Um, we just went there for a couple of hours each day. We went there twice. And then we took her back and went in the pool, which she did love very much. She loves the pool. So, yeah. She did love the pool. She made some lovely faces. But yeah, like I said, it was lovely out there. The weather was beautiful. Lovely and warm. And we come back and it's raining and wet and miserable and like 16 degrees cooler. And you're like, really? That is not good. So. Yeah, it was lovely out there, I'm not going to lie. I, I really enjoyed it. I wish I was still out there, I've got to be honest. What's this colour? Um, it does make you think. So I, I went back to work on Friday. I was supposed to go on Thursday, but Jennifer had a really bad cold. Um, and she just wanted to cling to me all day. So we didn't get in. It's annoying because I don't get paid if I don't go in. But she comes first, so. And then we went in on Friday. But this is my this is my first full week back and I am not ugh, enjoying it that much. But there you go, it's work, isn't it? We have to do it. We have to do it to pay for the next holiday, to pay for the colouring books and the pencils and my arm gets in the way. And eBay sales were okay when I was away. Um, I had more sales on this holiday than I did on the summer holiday. I had nine across the week. Uh, when I was in Tenby in July, I think I only had three. So quite pleased with that. One's coming back because it didn't fit. That's not a problem. I ain't got a problem with that. That's part, of par part and parcel of selling clothes. I know a lot of people have been having problems with the um, eBay item specifics but I've got to be honest I haven't really done much on it yet I've uh, I've not had chance to do much work on eBay since I've been back other than take the holiday settings off rechange change the dispatch times on most items things you've got offers on that you can't change I have to redo it all at some point soon and um I've listed 10 items since I've been back. I've just, I was going to do some dates. Monday today that I'm filming this. You'll probably see this Tuesday, I hope. Um, but yeah, I'm filming this on Monday night. And I was going to do some today because when I get home, normally Jennifer goes down for a couple of hours because she's worn out from nursery. But today, oh no, didn't want to know. She... I put it, she started crying as soon as we came in because she knew I was going to put her in a cot for a nap. Is it a travel cot in the living room? We use it as a, like a what do you call it? A play crate thing? I don't know. There's a word for it. I'm blanking on it. It's a travel cot, so we use it as a safety thing. So when I'm cooking, I put her in there. She can see me, but obviously I don't want her in the kitchen when I'm cooking in case she burns. You know, because there's hot stuff everywhere. So, as soon as I brought her in, took her coat off and picked her up again, she knew what was going to happen. She was not happy. She started crying. So, 
so um, there's not a lot I can do about that. She did go to sleep though. I went to the bathroom, I made myself a sandwich, got changed and did all that good stuff. It worked clear and she she did go to sleep pretty much straight away. But then I had my lunch, so I had a sandwich and then I had a Jaffa cake and what else I have, a yogurt. I hadn't, yeah, I've literally just finished my cup of tea and thinking, right, I'm going to go upstairs and do some photographs. And she woke up crying her eyes out. So, going to do some work went out of the window. Sadly. So, I had some drafted that I managed to put up tonight, but I've got nothing done. I did have six sales over the course of the weekend and today. Which I'm happy with. Nothing major. I've made... My fees, covered my fees from last month because it goes out on the 15th. I mean, some people pay it every day. I don't. I just pay it when it goes out. And it is a lot of money. Like, it was that over £100 this month. But I was thinking I'll come back from all day and I'm going to have to really, really work to get my fees paid and hit profit. But I've actually hit profit at the moment, even with that return. So. Which is great. I don't expect it to be a huge profit because I'm not getting as much done as I would like. And of course, with being away, it's, it's very hard to um, get stuff done. So I've had to buy, I've bought something for the shed as well. It's a, a drawer thing. So that's going to come off of the profit and that's 20 quid. So it won't be much, but the truth is all I'm going to do with the profits is save them now. I've got two savings accounts. One is um, a basic savings, just an online saver. It's where I put the money in that I'm going to be using to pay for the tax when I, if I need to. And the other one is my ISA, and I'm literally just splitting the profits down the middle. So if I make 100 quid, 50 is going in each account. And obviously I can, because I've already minused out my stock and postage costs, the profit is literally what's left after all expenses. I can um, um, put my postage costs and my stock costs, which isn't much this month because obviously I've been away. I don't want that one. Um, yeah, I can put them all away. Put that money back into my bank account to use again next month, but the profit is literally just going to be saved now. I need to build my bank account back up because I've got to pay for this flipping car, which I still haven't had. I went to see the Citroen Picasso on Thursday. It is pretty much ready. The only thing that was wrong with it is it needed some sort of filter thing. Putting on the exhaust. It was it's drivable, it passed Timothy. And he said it'd be this price, but this will need doing soon. I can do it now, and it'll cost you thirteen fifty. And I said, well, you might as well do it now because it's better that you do it now than you have me calling you in a month time saying, Carl, there's a problem. It's making a funny noise, and you have to do it then. And he went, right, fine, I'll do it. But the upshot of that was I might not be able to get the car, depending on the weather, more than likely until the weekend because he was on holiday, well, he went to Devon for four days over the weekend, he got back tonight, and when he's working at home, he works outside, so of course he's got to hope that the weather's good. If he can't get it done at home in the week, he's going to take it to work on Saturday and do it in the garage. I think the thing I'm going to find boring about this picture is doing the houses. But, there you go. So 
So I managed to colour four, three and a half pictures when I was on holiday and then I finished the fourth one when I got back. So I'm hoping that we might hit double figures this month. Um, I'm trying, like I said, I'm I am trying to do one in each of my Halloween books and I've only got two books left and I've got, other than this one which we've just started, I've got three whipped. One is the Dracula and there are two in the Jade Summer Halloween book. One's practically finished, it's just that I put some some sticky glue on it, some glitter glue and I'd use felt pen so of course it all ran so I'll just re go over certain bits. I might do that tomorrow. And then I've got a cute little witch in there that I started doing, but I haven't finished. Um, so I'm going to try and finish that one. I was doing it last night, but I was using the feelers. But the black keeps breaking and I need a black, so I'll have to bring it down and do it. I'm not taking any more pencils in there. There we go. So a quick drink. So I'm hoping, and then I've got the page in the Dracula book to do, to finish. And I'm going to try and do that on Wednesday. You don't need to see that, you'll just see it if I finish it. Um, but yeah, hopefully. We'll do that on Wednesday. If I could do one in every book, that'd be great. We've still got just over a week to go. Halloween is not this Thursday coming but next Thursday so obviously this one we're doing on camera so hopefully I'll be filming another one of these before long and you'll see that and then um, obviously on the 31st of October I will show you everything I've finished and if I've got any whips what well, I'll be trying to finish off in November. I'm already trying to decide what I'm going to do in November because I'm actually going to try and again do a page from a book and finish off a couple of whips. I've already picked two books that I'm going to colour in next month and they are um, the famous five colouring book which I think my brother bought me for Christmas last year so I think I'm there to do something in it and Johanna Bassford's World of Flowers I'm going to do something in that as well oh, I broke a nib not good yeah, so Johanna Bassford's World of Flowers and that's better and that one and then obviously try and finish off some more whips <laughs> I am I have got a lot of colour in heaven magazines that I haven't actually coloured in yet I've got loads and I've actually only coloured in three two Halloween ones and last year's Christmas one I started doing a picture but never finished it and it's because it's a grayscale one and I'm not that keen on it. And the annoying thing is, I've got the book that that comes from as well, so. And that is uh, the Ruth Sanson's Santa's Christmas, I think it is. And uh, yeah, so I have got that. Um, and I, I kind of wish I hadn't bought it because it's grayscale and I am not big on grayscale. I've tried using markers on it and that's what I was trying in the Colour in Heaven book. Um, but I can't see me carry on in markers because there's so many fiddly bits and the markers are so thick tipped. I might try and do it though and go over it 
with pencils or try and use some fine markers. Because people say, oh, alcohol markers go down great on grayscale. Yeah, but, you know, it's really difficult when you've got all the um, fiddly bits. But I'll work something out. I will have a go at it. So I'll try and finish it off next month. Oh, not next month. In December. Because obviously in December... We're going to be doing all Christmas and winter ones. So Christmas, pretty much up until Christmas Day. And uh, finish off the whips and then go and do the uh, other one. Now, do the winter ones. I haven't got the Colour in Heaven special, Nice Little Christmas. I'm thinking of ordering it. That was something I was going to do today. But of course, I never got a chance to do anything today because of Jennifer. So I might go and try and order it in a minute before I go to bed because it is getting on now. And uh, I'm thinking I need to uh, more likely try and get some sleep soon. But I did want to get on and, and do a video for you because it's all very well to show what I did on holiday but if people aren't interested and they want to see what I'm colouring then I need to do this and I'm hoping on the weekend Paul's going out to watch the football with his mate if Jennifer does have a sleep on the weekend <laughs> I will try and film some book reviews, some Marilyn book reviews. I've got um, a couple that need doing, so I'm going to try and do that. I've got the Michelle Morgan Little Book of Marilyn, which I've been trying to get round to filming a review on for a while. And then there's the Doris Day Marilyn book which is about the making of Something's Got to Give Me Over with Darling. And then, of course, there's a couple of other Marina books I've got out that I've been meaning to do reviews on, including The Last Take. And I haven't done it, and I'm sorry. I've got the books out ready. I just haven't had the chance. It's, it's terrible. I just have not had the chance to do it. So, yeah. That's my plan. Try and do that on Sunday. Just bulk film a load of book reviews. Now, somebody did say they wanted to see my very, very tiny, and I will say it is very, very tiny, Judy Garland collection. That's going to take a while to collate because it's all over the place. So even the books, which are all in the same room, are not on the same shelf. Like all the Marilyn books are together. But the Judy Garland ones aren't just because I've got so many Hollywood books and different sizes. I just can't keep them all together. So I've got to get all the books together. I've got the DVDs all together. I've got to get all the videos together because I've got lots of video cassettes as well. And then I've got a few magazines and a few photos and stuff like that. Not a huge amount some photographs. I don't have like dolls or anything like that I do with Marilyn. It's mostly books. I have a lot of books. One I haven't finished reading yet but I'm trying to. So, so we're at 24 minutes. That's okay. We're all right for now. Quite enjoying this. I do love Selena Fenex books. I really, really love them. They are my favourites, I'm not going to lie. Um, I really, really enjoy them. I think she's a fantastic artist. And it was very hard to decide which one to do in this book. 
because there are so many nice ones and I was like humming and hawing about doing the cover picture and um, which was the other one I was looking at that one that one cover picture like I said that one that one they're all so nice it was hard to decide which one to do but I thought we'll try something a little bit simpler it's not going to take forever to to do um, just simply because obviously we've got limited time remaining in October and I do want to finish it before we get to the end of the month and then maybe maybe we can do something from the uh jade summer cute halloween book or the nightmare halloween book i was going to do the nightmare halloween book i was going to do the picture of death but and i even ordered some acrylic paints to do his scythe with um in silver but i am I'm sort of like a bit scared of it to be honest not that i'm scared of the character I'm just scared of screwing it up because um, I thought what I would do is I'd kind of do it like um, Terry Pratchett's death. So obviously he's just death but he has piercing blue eyes. Um, I just thought yeah but uh, yeah and I, I still might do that I just might do it at night on my own when Jennifer's gone to bed. Paul started his new job today, so he's gone to bed a bit early because he's exhausted. And I, I'm tired, and I'm going to go to bed very, very soon. I'm enjoying this so far. I'm, lo I'm loving the way she's coming out so far. Didn't want to do her in the traditional black outfit with the black hat and everything wanted it to be a bit different like I said I'm a huge Selena Burnett fan she's still got loads of books I haven't actually got to yet I mean the only reason I mean I, I did three in the Color in Heaven book the only reason I managed to do three in that book and if you're on Instagram on my Instagram which is andyp1974 something like that anyway you'd see the three I've done it's because I took that and one other book on holiday and I did do a picture in, in both books so I did do both of them so I'm really pleased that I managed to get both of them done so three I did three from Colour in Heaven one I finished back here the other night and I did one from The, the hotel horror horror hotel and like I said I wanted to do the swimming pool one and that's the one I did and I call it blood pool because it's kind of it's kind of gruesome from Paul said you've got a terrible sense of imagination you have your imagination is horrific and I'm like what are you saying that's scary it, it's not very pretty <laughs> And it's like, I did the blood pool and then you've got the, the dead girl sunbathing on the lounger so I put bloody footprints <laughs> leading to the sun lounger and bloody handprints on the railing and blood dripping off of the sun lounger because <laughs> you've been in the pool and the pool's got blood in it. But you'll see that when we do our completed pages on the 31st of October. And I will try and video it and upload it on the 31st. I can't guarantee it'll be uploaded on the 31st. It might be done on the 1st of November. Probably the 1st of November, but I'll film it on the 31st. So it's not really... Too far after it. So I was going to do a completed, oh, sorry not completed, I was going to do a complete colouring book 
uh, collection video but as we're getting close to the end of the year I'm gonna wait sorry I stopped filming for some reason so as I was saying I was going to do a complete coloring book collection video but I'm going to wait and do it after Christmas once I've done my final haul of the year which will be the Christmas one the I expect if I get any for Christmas I will probably do the haul around Boxing Day and then Uh, the first week in January I will film a complete collection video which will include everything I got at Christmas as well and then I'll also do a everything I've ever coloured video so you can see everything I've coloured. It won't be in order that I've coloured them because I can't remember and I don't date them but I will just pull the books out. I can tell you what the first few were that I did I, I, I do know that. So I will show you that. So that's my plans for January. So we'll have two videos in January that are just on all my colouring books. What colour's this? Black grape, perfect. Um, so all my colouring books and then all my completed pages and I'll also show you all my whips hopefully there won't be many I'm not one of these people who can start six or seven pictures and like jump around them I just like to do one concentrate on it and then start another one might be why I don't actually that's why I actually get bored with doing them because I can't have tens of whips around because I just don't go back to them. If I had ten whips, I just would. I just keep starting new ones and wouldn't go back to them, which is not good, really. So I do try and kind of try and do it all in one go. Well, obviously, not all in one go, but like. This one we'll do on camera now and I won't touch this till I film again. But I will do, I'll start another one or I'll just continue with one of the whips. Like I said on Wednesday I'm hoping to get onto the Dracula whip. And the problem with the Dracula whip, the reason I've not done it is because it's all the boring stuff like the cliff. It's all the stuff that's the same sort of colour. So it's very, very dull to do. Because of it. And that's why it's been left. Just because it's oh, this is all going to look the same. But I am determined to finish that page. So Dracula is something I just do where I feel like doing a page from it. And I'm colouring it in order as well. So... But yeah, that's what I'm going to do there. So I'm going to stop soon because we are in nearly 30 minutes. I don't know now because the movie recording stopped for some reason. And I had to restart it. I don't know how far through we were. But I know it was over 22 minutes. So you've got to be at 30 odd. So we've done the most most of the witch. In fact, the only thing we've got left to do is her hair and her lips and eyes um, we've done the rest of her so I think we'll leave it there for tonight and then and I've just got the the lacy bits to do we've got the houses the background and the moon now I usually do my moon with a cream pencil and then I do something like indigo on the background so this one this one probably because it's really short uh, indigo blue yeah and then what I do is I erase around the edge of the moon and then go over with the cream and it just gives it that, that moony shimmer. So that's where we are with this one for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, don't forget to check out the Tenerife vlogs. They are very boring. There's lots of me doing very little. Although I do show you what I've been colouring so you might see a bit of, of that prior to the um, end of the month wrap up. Um, yeah, so I'll be doing book reviews this weekend, hopefully. Um, 
tannery flogs, small colouring catch-ups. Yeah, it's great. I, I, you know, I said I wasn't going to be buying that many more books. Yeah, it's not actually worked out right. So they, in my book haul, colouring book haul, there are three books because I had two colouring heavens that I didn't show the last haul because I forgot them. And then, of course, I got Deborah Muller's Fall Friends. And then um, when we came back, we could change back our euros, which is money that's written off. And I had something like over 100 euros. And then I had, because I bought something for my mum, which was 60 quid. And she put that in my bank. So I have actually got money left over from my holiday. But we went into the works and I picked up two of the Kirby Rosanna's books. where a fiver each. So I spent a tenner in there. On, and I think I got Myth, no, not Myth. Anamorphia and Imagimorphia. I've got Myth Morphia upstairs. I hope that's right, otherwise I've got two of the same, but never mind. Um, yeah, so I did get two of those. Um, I've got one book I saw on a haul on, I can't remember which channel it was, in my cart, and I'm gonna order the Christmas special for Colour in Heaven. So as you can see, that's already enough for eight books. That's not even Christmas. But I won't haul until after Christmas. I've also got some, like I said, some, acrylic metallic paints to show you that's it for tonight i'm gonna to go to bed i hope you've enjoyed this i do love this book um i will see you all in the next video don't forget to leave me a comment down below if you're not already a subscriber please subscribe and hit the notification bell and i will see you all soon so take care bye everyone